Hey guys, just wanted to try out a new video, a new uh, option on my phone for my video. Well, with my dad here fixing his truck. What, so what's wrong? Okay, we need gas shocks for our hood. The, the hood will not stay up on its own. As you can see, we've got it propped up with this pole <clears throat> and we've already purchased our new shocks. So now we are going to try to install our new shocks. So right here is a clip with a groove for your screwdriver and you just pry that out and it comes right off and we do the same for the top it comes right off and as you can see the slimmer part of the of the shock goes on the bottom because of the way it dampers on the inside so there's the old one you can see it has the clamp that you take out with your screwdriver like that now the new one oh it's much shinier than the old one it's shinier and it has the newer well it has the same style that's different it has that little hole in this on the side of, right is that new or is that from the old one as well? This is the new one. This is the old one. No, I mean, okay. Okay, my bad. I didn't see that little hole in the old one. So supposedly, all we have to do is do the same thing. Yeah, unfortunately with us, that supposedly usually means there's one problem, doesn't it? But it's working well. Twist it around a little bit. But we always, we always end up fixing what's wrong. Sorry for the wind, guys. If you guys can hear it pretty well. Right. And we'll loosen it up. Ouch, that hurts. Note to self, don't stick yourself with a screwdriver. And there we go. That should fix it, right? That should fix it. For side two. That was weird. <sighs> By the way, this is the box that the whole that the stuff came in. Not sure if this matters too much, but um, would you mind telling us what kind of vehicle or truck this is? I mean, this is a 2003 Dodge 1500 four door and has a 4.7 V8. But you can see once you get the little clips done, very, very I don't know why I started at the top, but I do. This is one of those things, right? Yes. Now I noticed if I twist this to the left, it seems to unscrew from that. So I need to line this up with the post. See the hole's not lined up, so I'm gonna go to the right, so I don't loosen anything up. Maybe. Now, I know people are gonna ask that, that they see the Toyota on your shirt. What, you do work at Toyota, right? I work at Toyota, yes. Now, if I say Buffalo, they're gonna assume New York. That's not where you work, is it? Uh, no, it's Buffalo, West Virginia. And what'd you say that place is pretty good to work at? It's a wonderful place to work. Excellent. And this one's a little more difficult than the other one. Oh? Sick. Is it because of the angling or something? Yeah, I think you need, if you can push the hood up just a little bit harder. There we go, that's what we need. Here we go. So All that right. should be it, right? That should be it. Now let's see if it closes. All right. Oh, yeah, much better. 
So what was happening before? It was just not opening before, right? Is that... In cooler weather, it was the, uh, these are, well, this is a 2003 truck, obviously, in 2018, so it's 15 years old. Yeah. And the, uh, the shocks basically were just worn out. And when you tried to put it up, it would not hold, uh, especially when it was cold. So, ah. All right, well, uh, thank you for showing us that and letting us see this, so. You are welcome. And thank you for watching this video, and I will see you all on the next video. Bye-bye.